hi beautifuls so i'm back again to talk to you guys about the third episode of a a single lady a black lady sketch show um please excuse my voice because uh, i have like a sinus situation going on so i sound like a grown man but um i'm fighting through it because i can do anything um so let's talk about the episode we're halfway through the season now with the third episode and i think um, with any show that's just now starting out, you're starting to see that the main characters especially are getting more comfortable and um, just acquainted with like the roles that they're expressing. And so I like seeing the development in each person. Something that they consistently get right are their guest appearances. I mean, we have Essence Atkins, we have Miss Cheryl Ralph, we have Miss Vanessa Bell Calloway, we have David Allen Greer, um, Issa Rae, sis, okay? Like, and then there's so many more after that that we'll talk about in a second. But, um, like, I just feel like each time they have a guest appearance, whatever role they put them in, they really shine. I like, I'm down for it. The event sketch is continuing, and this time they're pretty much just talking about um, dating in 2019, which can be tragic but uh realistically yeah no it's out here it's bad out here so um you know just little silly things are being said and about like the type of guys that they like and who they want to date and their dating experiences and so i mean it's continuing and it's just each time there's like a specific thing they're talking about and i get a chuckle so the two the two sketches for me this time that really suck out were the gang initiation actually i'm gonna go with three I'm gonna go with three. The gang initiation, um, the her the her tip homecoming, and two two seven. Just okay. So the gang initiation. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened for me. Initially, I saw Robin Thede's cornrows, and I was just like, bruh. Then I saw the eyebrows, and I was like, bruh. Robin is committed to every single role she plays. Okay, and like she just she's committed lowering my chances of postpartum you feel me um and then and then gabrielle you know as the leader <sighs> commitment she's just like giving me life but mind you her podium is a treadmill like the little i swear it's the small things that really have me like kikiing at these people they're too much it's just too much and then Issa shows up and homegirl calls her wanda tykes <laughs> Wanda Tykes was doing the most, okay? And then, oh, oh, little Quinta, little Quinta with her little cornrows, um, you know, she got kicked out and all, but like, she's so adorable. And when she looked back at the garage door, I wanted to reach out and just give baby a hug. Gabby committed, I'm calling her Gabby like I know her, I'm sorry, ma'am. Gabrielle committed to, um, just committed to her role. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> If there was a gang for me to join, that would be the one I would want to join, gang, gang, you feel me? Um, like, them girls had 401ks and benefits. Now the Hertep homecoming. So if you watch the first episode, you met Miss Hertep, right? So, um, so it was funny to see her in her family setting at this wedding. And homegirl, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. When homegirl said that Hannah breaks down to ha and nah, with Ha being the laughter of our oppressors and nah, I mean, she ain't supposed to be using that name. Okay. I mean, we don't know these like extra, extra woke, woke people. Okay. Like she's just, Robin just, she's just the commitment and the delivery. Like she had me laughing, like laughing. I was in here coughing cause you know, I'm all congested and stuff but I was coughing in the midst of my laughter. And then when her daddy shut her down cause he was like, I'm gonna cut your money off. And she was like, okay daddy. All of a sudden, you know, you know those people. We know those people. We know them. We know them. Um, we'll just honorably mention David Allen Greer here um, with the church skit because I really just, the minute I saw him up there as the Reverend Preacher Man, I only thought of him in Martin as like the nasty, creepy, perverted, con man preacher 
<laughs> uh, Martin. He used to sing, I got a feeling. Yeah, like, it just really reminded me of him, like, almost like reprising that role. So, like, he was funny. And even what they were doing in a situation, everybody was trying to get their own thing by asking for their prayer request, but not really asking for the prayer request. That was cute. Um, and then the one, the one that took the whole cake, like, just push this episode over for me was 227 reboot um robin again robin robin yes robin robin sandra listen she she it was almost like she literally sat and studied jack a okay like she studied her and she just delivered perfectly every single thing about her character was perfect um we had some of the the people from 227 come in and play their roles and like oh my goodness it was just it was so nostalgic you know when you're a 90 like i'm a 90s baby so like i remember growing up watching 227 oh sis in the window oh Oh my god like her I will just like to point out that her her delivery and her timing were perfect like does this story have a point cuz I sure would like to stab myself with it <laughs> Cal Williams um, Marla Gibbs even did a little cameo Jack A did a little cameo um I just feel like Jack A is one of those people who we better give her her flowers while she is here I hope she knows that she is like she is the bomb she is the shiznit and like that you know sometimes like it'd be like people don't realize stuff until later on in people's career this lady has been consistently funny and she's funny to this day because i don't know if y'all be seeing her on twitter and like just responding to people she is that lady like that you wish that you could sit and just watch and have talks with her like your favorite aunt or something um so let us give jack a miss jack a her 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 roses her flowers everything right now Robin, all of you ladies are awesome. Um, again, I'm loving the representation. Gang, gang, like you said, is history in the making. So let's get the discussion started in the comments. Let me know what you guys liked about this episode, um, what you didn't like about the episode, what else you're interested in seeing. Do you notice any sense of development? Someone who I would also like to see as a guest appearance would be Kiki Palmer on this show. I feel like she would give me a couple a couple laps too. So yes, that is all for this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!